This is turning into a classic summer view in Denver. Just a gorgeous skyline with some haze. Meteorologist Chris Bianchi says that we're breathing in a bit of wildfire smoke from Idaho today, plus our usually locally sourced pollution. Today's haze is coming with the 36th ozone alert of the year. It means the air quality was so bad you needed to rethink being outside. But if we're extra environmentally conscious once in a while, what kind of impact does it really have? Well, it turns out in this situation, it's a lot more than you might think. This is a pretty short memory uh, particulate. You choose not to drive your car or say, I'm going to mow the lawn with my gas mower at a, at a later time or things of that nature, then you're going to be putting fewer of those particulates into the air. So this is one of those environmental moments where there is an immediate impact. So when we talk about mitigation efforts for climate change, we're talking about something that's going to take a lot longer to take effect. But when you're talking about those, those uh, particulates going into the air, if you're not putting them into the air, Air, you are going to uh, reduce that on the shorter term, which is going to be helpful. The state health department said that long term there's is also helping people with breathing problems, protecting plants or ecosystems. But the first thing that came to our minds, though, was at the height of COVID, right? We were at home. We were not driving. The emissions dropped. But in all of that time, it wasn't enough to put a big dent in climate problems. So how will telling people 36 times in a year to be more environmentally friendly actually move the needle? Well, the state says this is a cumulative effect because they've been putting these alerts out and they will continue to do that for years on end, which is way longer than the shutdown. We can limit, you know, one uh, exceedance of ozone per year. That's that's headed in the right direction towards having less days next year that are, are potentially hazardous to public health. The state says overall ozone trends are going in the right direction and that everyone's individual decisions do add up and they do help. And it's fairly quickly since these alerts are lasting 24 to 36 hours, depending on weather. And they are really hoping that they're reaching everyone here, individual people, families, as well as businesses.